All right, welcome back. Uh, Keep moving. Yep. It just occurred to me why we might have had to go through the sewers earlier. Um, to save Emma, I wonder if she was in that chamber where Mr. Smith Keep was. Um, hmm. I think there's a way to link back up to there from here. Whoa! Watch out! You did me that! What's oh. there? you make me look, the more painful it's gonna be. Yeah, you guys are low Watch, I know you're uh, here! Stop hiding like a pussy! That's over. All right, did we lose anyone? You guys need to stick together. Got something to prove. Who's there? Well, I'm fucked if I can't find the bastard. I've got one. I can see you, you pile of chicken shit. What was that? What are you, a rad roach? Fight me like, like a man! Get back up. I've got something for you. Anybody there? Who's there? Upstairs. Who's there? Anybody there? What was that? Anybody there? Oh, hell. Where did he go? Look, 
Can you guys handle one ghoul on your own? Got something to prove. Anybody there? <sighs> Can you guys find one ghoul on your Who's own? Who's there? You like that? Alright, one of these floors had a locked door. I gotta go find that. Who's there? I've got something for you. What are you, a red roach? Fight me like a man. What was that? Get. Cut it Got out, him. will you? Entirely sure. Hotel Atrium. Alright, so where's this other door? Is it above us? Keep moving. Alright, I think we're gonna have to go back down. This is a dead end. Land to lobby. Maybe oh, I'm trying to remember. There was another way into that torture room, I think. Let's go by the diner. What's this? Computer. I think this links up with it anyway. What are you looking at? Hey guys. Alright, casino. No, I don't want to go outside. I gotta get to those service tunnels. Another kill to my name. Ugh. Damn. Time to end, Scray. Oh, shoot. I, uh, I forget it. I'm going to go get. He was standing right behind him. It's his fault. <laughs> Back. Don't keep moving. Alright. Dang! I'm hit! Mm. Hold up the quest. Alright. Help!
Still good, Mitch. Keep moving. Hotel lobby. System. Oh no, it's not this. We just ran out of mine. I'm home! Rubber! Yeah, yeah. Enough. Show me what you got, Brick. Third floor. Hey. Okay, Had enough. On. We need to find the elevator. Um. Sure. Start from the beginning. Utility tunnels, all right. Perfect. What are you Now I think on here. Pumping way station. That's where we need to go. Or plumbing way station. Alright, she's not here. Back to the third floor, we'll find. Keep moving. I think Vincenzo's room was on there. Watch out! Thank you. 
please. God damn it. The head. Fine, we'll shoot the mechanic. Yeah, yeah. All right, did we lose anyone? You and your brother. Hey. So good. That Get takes care out, of that. Uh huh? Yep. All good. How many times I gotta defibrillate you? This is it. Hmm. All right, I guess we just have to hope that uh, she's with Granin, or I mean, Cianci at the moment. Fifth floor. Another Let's kill for my name. Oh boy. are just fighting with nail guns. I knew it. Hey. I'm oh, you're the guy from the camp. I'm hit. We're kings of this mountain. Executive suites, real quick. Fill them full right. of lead. Aha. You guys want some stim packs or something? Whoa! This is 
our territory, motherfucker. Hey. I can see you. Requires key. World of shit now. The den. Hey. 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 He's up there. Uh! You like that? Oh. Hey, we got Senator Grizzly. I'm going to find you. Two headed fucktards. Had enough? Aha! Uh -huh. Show me what you got, Fred! <laughs> they killed him! Second ballot over dam. They killed her. Don't fuck. <sighs> All right. What did I do to you? Whoa, whoa, careful. Whoa. Ugh. You like that? What are you what are you chasing? Hey. We're going to the penthouse. I'll find you. What's new? Oh. <laughs> we were looking for you. Uh. Oh, hey. What's new? Well, that depends. Uh. Goodbye? Are you supposed to be here? Watch out! Whoa! Watch out! Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <sighs> Glad that's over. Uh, 
Um, all right. Remove. Keep moving. Okay, now we have two. No, actually, unless the other quest marker. Who are you? Ivana? Yeah, quick save. Back already? Well, I'm afraid you just missed Yancey. It's a damn shame, too. I'm sure he would have been happy to see you. Did he get off in that helicopter? You know, I'm really sorry about shooting you, but that's just the way things are. Maybe in another world we could have been lovers. Uh... He's on the roof, waiting for a fight out. You really don't want to miss that plane. <laughs> Not just me, my love. Get in here, boys. Let's make this a gangbang. Okay, let's keep it PG-13 now. Come on! Whoa! Found you. Aha! I'm hit! Come on! Guys, you... You... Oh, boy. I'm hit! Watch it. Oh, there's one more. Watch out. Sansy's in grave forty five. Sometimes to do the thing you know is right, you have to do the things you hate. Activate secure door. Uh, if, if you're reading this, you're fired. <laughs> Nice. I had that dream again where I'm swimming in the in a tube of water, a tube of darkness. I look at my hands and see nothing there. Darkness all around me. Then I see her, my sweet darling wife Sally, and my sweet Sherry. A light in the darkness. I reach, I stretch, and grasp for her, but to no avail. Then the light fades and I'm lifted out of the darkness into nothing. I've talked to a doctor about possible treatments for these dreams. He had methods I did not like. Went with the pills. Might be this place, jogging up the old memories, stress from sitting up here in the Mojave, that could have brought them. We've cleared out the hotel except for the further, furthermost wing. I've told my men to lay off it for now. Never liked that part of the hotel. Besides, from what I've heard from the scouts, it seems to be in a massive state of disrepair. The place is full of ghouls and most of the scouts were lost. It's not worth the time. I used to have meetings here before the war. I brought Sally and Sherry here a lot. Maybe that's what brought up the dreams. They plagued my head. I remember first coming here as a young man as well. I had just been discharged then. Oh, what an illustrious career that led to. I suppose I had my father to thank for that. To think that almost 200 years later that this place would fall back into possession of some of the original owners wouldn't mean as much to the old man seeing as he's more likely dead. I took down those statues down by the cliff as my first act. The old man loved them. I was glad to see them fall. Those mercenaries I hired have begun different reconstructions. The Legion apparently had their eye on this place, and I feared that I may have achieved their envy. I've heard stories of their brutality. Still, those savages will more than likely falter if they attack this place. When the war dogs set up those defenses, this place will be a fortress. I begin to wonder if leaving Mr. Sims in charge of Reno's affairs was a good idea. My protege is a rather extravagant, extravagant and vulgar one. He still treats people like he did before. His wives are the focus of many domestic disputes. I left him in charge for a reason, as during the riots he was the one who made people really f feel the fear, especially when he beheaded Walter Wright's charred corpse on stage. I know a lot of the talking heads over in Commercial Row tremble from that, 
Even Jet Lord, little Jesus, fears for his life. I know that he'll do right. I just hope he doesn't escalate things for the NCR too badly. He is much more hateful towards them than I ever was. I believe he was once personally wronged by them long ago, but for what, but for what reason I do not know. That would explain his vulgar actions towards the soldiers he killed. My other lieutenants respect him, and when I return to Reno, I wouldn't be surprised if Sims got them into a chain of command. We've begun working on getting some sort, some support from our local businesses out here. Currently, we have a drug lab being erected in an old rock crushing plant near the Vegas outskirts. I've heard they've been having some trouble with local raiders, but other than that, we've been able to make quick, make a quick buck on the locals. The back alley nightclub is having difficulty, however. I've attempted a, I've attempted a, having a stake in a nightclub before I moved out here with a man named Richards. Unfortunately, he met a timely demise thanks to some locals. I believed having a club completely owned by me would generate a more prosperous future, but it hadn't been mu making much money. Dimitri blames it on the economic state of Freeside and always asks for more money. I believe he was thinking the club would be the heart of Vegas when he agreed to manage the club for me. He got his girls and collars. Personally, I think it's barbaric. I wish he wouldn't do that to women who don't deserve it, but if he's generating an income, then it will have to do for now. As soon as it ceases to do so, I'll end that disgusting practice. People ask me why I set up these businesses if you already have so much wealth. To most, I say it's none of your concern, but to others, I explain it's not about the money. It's about the power you attain by having a high position in the economy. Money and power aren't exactly mutually exclusive, but in some cases, the place you hold is more important. Once the back alley is successful, we'll start moving to take a place on the Strip. I feel that might be an issue with the Strip's leader, Mr. House. Not even the NCR could get a meeting with this guy. Perhaps I would receive better luck. To that, I can only hope. Um, no, we read that one. Five. Received word from my lieutenant's Clark. He notified me that Silviana will finally be making a trip out here with the servants I ordered. I'm not partial to slaves, and some people are surprised by this. <laughs> I do strongly believe that the weak have no place. The old way of slavery was trivial and pointless. It was based on simple physical appearance, which made the process easier. But at the cost of bias and irrational ideals, slavery was passed on the children and their children's children. When my nation is complete, we will bring this back, but not based on hereditary factors, but on an economical factor. Those who owe money to me are used as these servants. Indentured servitude is what it is called. They put themselves into this situation and they will work to get themselves out of it. However, it will be necessary to take further measures. Once we reach a stage where we are able to tax our populace, those who do not pay will be added to the list of servants. These people are weak and working as a servant is their only place in my new nation. It's not a system that I would base my nation's economy on like the America of the old days, but something I want to give a bit of a trial run. Silviana's, Silviana is my nation's first ever slave mistress as well. As being one of my lieutenants, she carries deep scars from the riots, and I think she uses these to make the servants feel fear. Necessary to keep them in line. She keeps coming up with ways to improve this method of mine, and I'm proud of her for it. Like what my daughter could have been if she didn't leave this world. The War Dog PMC and my lieutenants are split among my two operations. My goals here in the Mojave and over in Reno. The War Dog leadership has now compelled to securing the Reno outskirts from anyone who is not part of the new nation. Soth and his two underlings being the ones in charge. Meanwhile, we still have the lesser of Soth's leadership in charge of security here, Captain Bagrat, along with that cretin of mine, Bruno. With my nation, we are split as well. Funny how that is, with four lieutenants leading Reno and four lieutenants here. While I'm still not sure where or not to classify bishops, Bishop as a lieutenant or an ally, despite that, I have Lieutenant Silviana Lips Vincenzo here to make sure everything runs smoothly. I think Clarence sometimes thinks of himself as a lieutenant, but I find him much too erratic to trust as of late, and so does Vincenzo. With a team of such, we have so much to do. 
had that dream again. I saw poor Sally, this time in the car. It was the day of the carnival. I turned, and she was fine. I turned again, and she was gone. I jumped from the car, tried to find her, but the world was too dark, losing color. I can't keep thinking about this. It's holding me back from the things I have to do. The world will one day look upon my nation as a city on a hill, and it will be magnificent. Still, I can't help but watch the old videos of Sherry and Sally on loop. It's all I have left in my past life. Besides this old hotel, I can, I can repaint it, tear things down, but the old scars are still there. Sometimes I wonder if things could have been different if the war didn't happen, if the election had ever happened. Things would have, been, things would have changed. I'd made sure of that. Guess they're just shadows now. I've got to stop looking back. There's nothing more for me there anymore. Hmm. Personal notes? Oh boy. More reading. The Kane situation. Kane is not the man I would consider allying with. Considering his past, I've done my research on the man, and I find myself questioning his possible usefulness. Still, this new drug they've been working on might be a way to pose a distraction to the NCR back in California. I know from experience that these types of problems can cause quite an outrage among citizens, and the government will have no choice but to deal with them. This would only work if we convince them to operate again in areas around the NCR capital, as the citizens of this frontier are not exactly the NCR's prime concern. Freeside could be blown to smithereens, and I doubt the politicians back in the capital wouldn't give this wouldn't give two shits unless the Legion took it from them. Once that's in place, we can move forward with the annexation of Reno as a free nation. Still, the main problem we've been facing is that Kane and his minions aren't so willing to ally with us. If the next negotiations don't go well, we're taking all of his new product, see if we can't find a way to weaponize it. If not, I may have found a willing scapegoat. We've been getting all our information on Kane's fellowship via turncoat. This man's name is Frank, but he's been attempting to keep his identity hidden from us with a code name Black Dog. Idiotic title, if idiotic title, if you ask me. Still, we've managed to make a deal. So Cain dies, he'll be in charge of all the profits and materials to get left behind. That way, if Cain dies, we still have our scapegoat. Granin, I think I've already had enough of Granin for a lifetime, but like a Hefty skin sore, he's back here in the Mojave. To think that man used to be on my side. He's still nothing more than a foolish NCR sympathizer. He favors the weak because he himself cannot stand alone. He is weak and because of this hides behind others to fight for him. That is why his persistence is growing so tiresome these past few months. First was his so-called rebellion in Reno after I took over. Some mercenary types he hired with some money he had. Then there were the attempts to ruin my NCR reputation with some unsavory evidence. If it weren't for my NCR contract, Grislin, war would have been declared. Even with him, I still fear war may be imminent. I've taken great note on his ideology. He's greedy, wants, to, wants what I do, but we couldn't work together. The point that we disagree on with the most is the NCR. He wants to coexist with them and merge. I want to remove myself from, the, from that cancer. He wouldn't understand as he was, as he's not seen what I have. He favors the weak in the world where only people who should be able to live are the ones who can help themselves. The weak, the greed, the, the cause, they cause the war. I won't let it happen again. Nonetheless, Granin was spotted here and I know that he plans to attack my many establishments here. I know he plans to kill me and plans to damage my economy out here. Still, he is, not, he is the one who should worry. We're not protected by the NCR out here, and when I catch him, I'll make all of Reno know what happens to traitors. War Dog. I still wonder if hiring the War Dogs was an error in my judgment. After all, these men were all once in the NCR or various, or various raider groups. Still, they harbor no admiration for the NCR, but I have second thoughts about our dealings from time to time. As long as I have money, I suppose they'll stay loyal. If not, I know I can trust my personal security team. If things manage to get dicey between me and the PMC, I have ease of access to their leader, and with disposed of, they'll think twice. Soth was a war hero back in the NCR days, or so I heard. If he fell, I doubt any of those war dogs would come knocking for revenge. I trust most of Soth's lieutenants. I can read people well, or so I feel. However, my only falter in these 
feelings is that I know full and well that these men are loyal to Soth by a fault. Not loyal enough for revenge, but they'll do what he says as long as he lives. Soth will be traveling between here and Reno every few months to oversee his troops' operations. His new man, Captain Bagret, seems to be managing the situation well enough. The She. This so-called emperor I've heard so much about in the Shi has seemingly been showing some interest in a line. They'll be sending two diplomats over by tonight. We'll be discussing terms for a possible allyship in nations, as a line with the NCR is not in my agenda, as is theirs. I'm curious to meet this emperor himself when I get the chance. I've heard some strange rumors about him, but I believe that they're nothing to be worked up about. After I maintain control of the region, they might become a greater issue. I suppose I'll have to deal with that when the time comes. Clarence. Clarence has been a loyal soldier to a fault. He was good for when the Reno riots were going down last year. If I needed someone slaughtered, he was my man. Now that those days are over, he's not as useful. I pulled him out here because I believed having a raider group in the region uh, do my bidding would be a good cover up while I worked to maintain a distribution ring of jet. Lately, he's been making too many mistakes. I think moving out here in the boonies has gone to his head. He goes about calling himself the king of outer Vegas. The fool. They've been doing business with local businesses instead of my own and messing up critical tasks. I've asked them to do... Uh, they've been attacking the NCR too, and it's hard to keep this off my back. I merely wanted them to distract the NCR at first, but now the NCR seem to know we're in cahoots. Told them to lay it low after that, but it looks like that didn't work out. Might have them move back just to get rid of them. Grizzlin can't take his, t can't take this heat off of us anymore, and I'm relying on him to keep the NCR from killing me. One more issue, and Clarence is gone. I need to get allies out here to secure a sovereign nation, a place away from the tyranny of the NCR, a place where the strong don't have to be weighed back by the cancer that is the lower part of society, that place where Clarence is, Freeside, Outer Vegas. It's a prime example of the cancer that the minds of the NCR and House create. Senator Grislin, finally the last one. Grislin is becoming more incessant lately. My issues with Granin and my supposed feelings to Mojave have him wanting out but I can't let him go. He's grown to despise me with the things I've made him do. I know that type of lifestyle he has. Had something similar to it myself when I was in his line of work before the war. I offer very little gain to him anymore, so he's going to turn on me. As long as Clarence still has that blackmail information, I know he won't do anything rash. I know he's worried, especially lately. He has a team of NCR soldiers guarding him at all times. Judging from the guards, I'd say they're out of Grizzlin's pocket. Ideology of any nation can, can and will be faltered for personal gain. And that is one of the NCR's issues. If Grizzlin does turn, it would bring me delight to show off the blackmail, but the effects of that would still be negative towards me. That would be a serious play in showing off the NCR's corruption. After his recent actions, however, I'm left to wonder if the blackmail still has the same effect on him. He might just not care anymore. I'll have my men keep an eye on him. All right, we are going to cut here, and next episode we're going to run up to that roof and try to shoot uh, uh, CNC. So, I'm not sure what the secure door does. Let me, does that lock us in here? Oh, lifting security. Had enough? One more. Oh, it turns out. Hey. All right. Well, we'll see you all in the next episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Y'all have a great day.